the stock of the day. So I put out a little shout out on Twitter because, to be honest, I didn't really know what to pick. There's not a lot of corporate news out today. Of course, we've got the banks, but we'll be talking about the banks in the body of this program. So thank you to Dave. Thank you to Hari. Thank you to Luke Curvy. Don't think that's your real name. And, uh, you know, there was, there was a really great response. Of course, I had to pick one. So I just went with the guy who got in first. And it happens to be Mark Gardner from Macro Capital, one of our regulars. <laughs> but, you know, I'm agnostic. So uh, he picked GrainCorp because GrainCorp is reporting next week. So let's get the view from, uh, we'll start with you, Jim Bay. GrainCorp, um, we've talked about, uh, you know, it had a really sort of great run. Mm, absolutely. Um, what are you expecting? Look, I think the result will be strong, uh, but that's not the point. I think, you know, GrainCorp, as you mentioned, has benefited from this, um, you know, wet well, wet season, wet weather, mm. um, because there are increased volume and then as well as, um, you know, last year where we had the war, they, you know, the price of the grain went through roof. So they have benefited from a lot of abnormal seasonality and things. Um, so from here on, everything I read is saying that we're heading into a drier environment yes. now, dry and hotter. So, you know, you know, the, the earning has a long way to fall for this company. It's very cyclical. A lot of people will ask that it has changed and, you know, it's better. But I just think it's it's going to be much harder when, you know, the volume start to fall and when you start cycling some strong volume like what they have achieved. Yeah. Oh, well, I was going to say, but the share price is down <laughs> yeah. significantly this year. So could it look that like value? So there is value there. But w what we're seeing is the same as elders. You know, last year it was as good as it was going to get mm. for all the ag stocks. They just, you know, they were looking price to perfection. Everything was great. And then from there, you've just seen this consistent selling down on the back of that. Yes, the, the weather's been really positive And then we're going into El Nino, whatever, whatever the one ever yeah. it's called, the dry side El of Nino. the cycle. Yep. So, you know, that is going to really affect Grand Corp as well as a lot of these other ones. So I think last year was as good as it's going to get. And so the market is readjusting to these uh, numbers. I think the numbers are going to look great because mm. the winter crops and we've still got a good winter crop this year coming through as well. But um, yeah, I, yeah, last year was as good as it gets. So I'd be cautious on Grain Corp now. I would hold it uh, if, you, if you have it but I wouldn't be putting fresh capital uh, into that. I think there's better places to be. Mm, I would definitely hold it until the result because the result will be good. They might have some capital management and the like. So, um, yeah. but I think it, that that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Probably the last best result. All right, thanks guys. That's the stock of the day. You're welcome, Mark Gardner.